Well, China has many and frequent disasters, both natural, mm -hmm. for example, the typhoons, mm -hmm. uh, landslides, earthquakes, mm -hmm. um, droughts, mm -hmm. rainfall, mm -hmm. uh, but also some uh, man-made disasters like mining, for example. Mm -hmm. In uh, some of the mines, there have been quite uh, strong loss of life. So I think what I am seeing now in China is a awakening mm -hmm. about the importance of quality of life mm -hmm. and uh, preempting, uh, preventing some of these disasters and being prepared in society more and more. And of course, in the government structures as well. So all of this is happening now in China and I suspect the the 12th five-year plan mm -hmm. will incorporate uh, much of this thinking and this uh, direction. Yeah. There may be an idea of having shelters uh, around the country mm -hmm. where uh, people can accumulate in the case of a tragedy. And it's a place where there is local support, local help, emotional help. And these uh, shelters may be a network of shelters mm -hmm may be a good idea supporting the public. Mm -hmm. So I have those three ideas to deal with the emotional issue. Uh, now the truth is uh, all of this is in the bigger realm of nature, you know, society and nature. And to the extent that we have broken that relationship, we are in trouble. Mm -hmm. So overall, uh, we could argue that guiding our societies back to nature is a safe much safer path for the future yes. than continuing on what we are doing. Yes.